My name is Carlton Berkeley. I'm a retired New York City detective. As a former police officer, how is it best to approach a police officer and film them and actually hold them accountable with the video camera? Okay, for, first of all, all right, right, you can always record and you can photograph a, a, a police officer. It's your First Amendment right. Just don't be afraid. If the police officer down is talking to you, I don't see why you can't cut your phone on, right? Film and audio tape the whole encounter. Also, if there's other people standing around, they should do the sa same thing. And if you do that, it will hold up in court. For an officer to tell you that he doesn't want to be recorded, right, will more or less let everybody else know if you're not doing anything wrong, why can't I record you? The, the, news, you know, the news media does, does it all the time. Don't be afraid. You, you, you know, I always tell people, don't get into a shout match. Don't, you, you know, always be calm because when you're calm, you can remember everything that a police officer says. Don't fight a police officer, but it's all right. And don't resist arrest. If he or she is going to arrest you, don't fight. Just go. But if other people can tape, tape record and also do audio of the encounter, it's going to help you out in, in, in the long run. Police like to scare people, and the first thing they'll say is, put the camera down or I'll lock you up. Not to say that they can't lock you up, but yeah. don't be afraid to put that camera down. Yeah. You know? A lot of times I've been intimidated when I was filming the police department, and even on camera, these police officers say that they're going to make up a reason to arrest me. And a lot of times they used uh, obstruction government administration and disorderly conduct. Can, is, is that legal? I mean, is that uh, obviously it's not the right thing to do. But is an officer legally allowed to do that to you when you're filming them? No, an officer is not allowed. And the next time you go out, and I'm giving you my, my number, the next time you go out, I'm go I want to go out with you. Because when, whenever they walk up to you and then I come from out of the shadows and identify myself, I can guarantee you they will just about back up and, and will leave you alone. And then you will see, because hopefully that will be on film. And what we will do is we will set up the encounter where you're out there, then I'll come up and we'll have another camera uh, taping the whole incident. And I guarantee you, after the police will back down then, then you'll know that whatever you was doing was not against the law, and that's the bogus charge. See, they use obstruction of governmental administration to scare you. That justifies their, their arrest. But if we have the whole encounter on tape, we will be able to sue that officer, him or herself, sue, go after the union, and then go after the city of New York, because that's a bogus charge that police officers always throw at people and that's why those charges along with trespassing in the Bronx, the Bronx DA, Robert Johnson, is starting to, to throw those cases out where um, people are locked up for trespassing because how can you trespass where you live? It's, it's impossible and we're hoping that he will take the next step in the stop, question and frisk. The trespassing is just the first step but I would like to go out with you when you're filming and we will stand side by side and I guarantee you the police will not bother you. I hope not. I definitely don't think with you around that they'll do anything. I know you're running for public office. How can people find out more about you? I'm, I'm, uh, a website is being put up www.electcartonberkeley.com I'm running in the two, two, uh, 2013 uh, Councilmatic District 16, which is in the Bronx. I said earlier when I was up here, I ran in Harlem twice because I ran against the Harlem machine. Um, all, they, they now have converged just to make sure that I don't get elected in, in Harlem, but, but, but it's okay. I'm going up there in the Bronx, and once I get in office, I'm not going anywhere. I will overstep my bounds and come into Harlem because where people are being uh, uh, violated by the police anywhere in the city or in their community, if their local elected official don't stand up, I'll stand up for them. And injustice against one is an injustice against, against all. all. That's right. Thank you so much for all your all right. time. Best okay. of luck with everything. So you can film me across the street. I don't have to go across the street, sir. I understand legally, constitutionally, I do not have to go across the street. Let me call it Yeah. This is a public sidewalk. I can feel my rights like the back of my head. If you're not doing hey, nothing wrong, do you should mind me filming. Anything. You're a public okay. servant. And in the fight for accountability, I'm joined with Mr. Officer Justice. You're supposed to enforce the law, not break the law. You